The mandrel and mega bender are now ready for tooling. Step 31. Mount center former to drive shaft. Note orientation notch for former return spring cable. Step 32. Position raised cap screw into recessed pocket on bottom of former. Step 33. Thread mandrel onto draw bar and secure. Step 34. Mount clamp die onto dovetail and secure with socket head cap screw M8 by 1.25 by 10. Step 35. Move clamp die cylinder. Check to ensure face of clamp die and former are parallel. Adjust with socket set screw on rear of former if necessary. Lock jam nut. Step 36. Mount pressure die to bracket. Secure from back with M8 by 1.25 by 20. Be sure socket head cap screw is through spring return bracket. Next, using four spoke hand wheel, retract lead screw. Step 38. Mount wiper die with thumb latch. Push in and turn. Secure additionally with M8 by 1.25 by 20 socket head cap screws. Position wiper into former until it blends smoothly and no gap can be seen. Wiper tip should come forward to point of tangency. Step 40. With power on, manually push clamp die cylinder former until it is approximately 1 8 inch away from face of former. Step 41. Depress closed clamp button on touch panel. Observe to confirm clamp fingers fully engage. Step 42. Push clamp switch box forward 1 8 inch and tighten handle. Step 43. Depress open clamp button on touch panel. Observe to confirm clamp opens fully. Depress close clamp button. Observe movement of clamps. Step 45. Depress open clamp button. Observe movement of clamps. Step 46. Adjust clamp die on gauge according to material diameter. Refer to operator's manual for correct bar setting. Note, depress and hold clamp close button while adjusting clamping pressure. Step 47. Depress advance mandrel button. MM100 denotes mandrel back. MM0 denotes mandrel forward. Step 48. Loosen draw bar nuts and adjust mandrel depth to point of tangency. Always adjust mandrel depth in full forward position. Step 49. Secure draw bar locking nuts. Draw bar should have no lateral movement but should turn freely. Step 50. Depress mandrel retract button to ensure mandrel is in full back position. Disconnect zero hose from distribution block. Step 52. Slide tube onto mandrel. Note, weld seam groove if applicable. Step 53. Depress close clamp button on touch pad. Using four spoke handle, bring pressure die forward slowly until it contacts material. Move an additional 1 8 turn. Step 55. Depress open clamp button on touch pad. Step 56. Reattach zero hose to distribution block. Step 57. Depress closed clamp button. Confirm fingers engage. Step 58. Insert tie bar and secure with locking nuts. Step 59. Tighten 10 mm socket head cap screws. Step 60. Depress open clamp button and remove material. You are now ready to begin programming a mandrel bend.